you're doing today welcome back to mama's kitchen today i'm going to show you how i make my yam and african spinach porridge guys if you're from the east you're going to be familiar with this type of yam it's always made at home sometimes they use ugu vegetable that's the pump pumpkin leaf or they use other vegetables to make this porridge but today i'm going to use african uh, spinach to make it so if you're ready to learn how to make this delicious yam porridge let's get into this kitchen and make it happen come on guys let's go so today i'm gonna show you how i make my spinach and yam porridge guys i'm sorry if i've talked too much about spinach this month while i'm doing that i'm using a lot of spinach this time because this is the only time to get it after this season it's going to be gone until next year so please pardon me to use it while it lasts so i'm going to be using spinach to make this delicious delicious meal this meal by the way is very popular among the evils they are the ones that eat this yam with uh, spinach so i'm going to show you the ingredients that i'm going to be using to make this delicious meal so first of all i'm going to be using water that's number one thing that we have to use and then we're going to be using yam pepper onions no cube palm oil crayfish and of course that's the spinach that's the african spinach i'm gonna wash this you know shred it and keep it aside so the first thing you do is cut your yam try to cut it and peel it make sure you don't waste it i remember those days when my mom used to knock me on the head for wasting yam when i'm peeling it so don't waste all the yam just take off the skin lightly and then you cut the yam and you know just cut it to medium size because of what we're cooking i don't want it to be too small so cut it to medium size wash your yam thoroughly and put it aside now put some palm oil in your pot and fry your onions fry these onions for like five minutes and then you add your pepper after adding your yellow pepper you cover your pot and let it simmer for about five minutes you want them to fry together you know want the aroma to get into each other so after five minutes you open your pot and then this is when you start to season so you season with your ground crayfish i'm gonna season with some no cubes i'm using three no cubes for the size of yam and i'm doing that because i don't want too much salt because the crayfish already have salt so i'm not going to put too much so after the no cube i'm going to add my salt a little bit of salt and that's it after that i'll let it simmer for a few seconds and i add water put enough water to cook the yam don't put too much just you know try to make sure you you just don't put too much water and then you gently place in your cut and washed yam and then you are going to cover the spot for about 10 to 15 minutes just for the yam to cook and after the yam is soft use your knife or your wooden spoon and try to break them up a little bit because you don't want them to be too bulky and after breaking them up you just that's it you just break it up and then you taste for salt and make sure everything is all right and now you're going to add the, the sliced or the chopped spinach you add it inside and you cover that pot for another five to ten minutes i should say five minutes and then it's ready get your wooden spoon and mash the yam as much as you want guys you notice i don't have fish in here i did that because my mother taught me to just cook with few ingredients you know as long as you know how to put your things together you don't have to put all the ingredients you can cook with a little amount of money and your food will still be nutritious and delicious so i'm not adding fish I've turned it, mixed it up, and that's it. That's how my yam porridge is made. I just wish you can try this, guys, before the spinach goes out of the market. Thank you so much for hearing me today. I truly appreciate you. This is Mama's Kitchen, your kitchen, my kitchen, everybody's kitchen. Thank you so much today. Have a great day. See you next time. Ciao, ciao, bon appetit, and see you later.